Makeup routine using Fenty Beauty. I am so hyped right now because I've been waiting to film this video for so long because I am obsessed with these products. Like, they're all bomb. Like, I was gonna do a first impressions video and everything, but like, the way my hair was set up at the moment, like, when I tell you guys I look like somebody's crackhead auntie, my hair was tore up, my edges weren't laid, I just really need to go get my hair done. So I wasn't going to film this video for you guys looking crazy. That would just be disrespectful to me, disrespectful to Rihanna looking crazy on here, talking about her makeup line and me looking crazy. So, no. But yeah, um, I'm kind of glad I got this video like this. I've been able to play with them, everything. I have all my final thoughts about all the products and yeah, so... I know you guys seen like a thousand of these videos, but I'm thousand two, thousand three, and I was still gonna put this up for you guys. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look, this everyday makeup routine, wearing Fenty Beauty, just keep on watching. We're gonna go on with our first product, which is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I really like this one. And like I said, I have been using this stuff, but I did put it back in the packaging so it looks super cute for you guys when I do this video. So I have tried this before, so this is what it looks like. All her collections, like all the bottles and stuff are in like a frosted glass look and I love it. I love this color. Then it has the pink top and yeah, I was about to say what color it was. It's universal, okay? So this primer it smells really good. It doesn't have like such a like strong smell but it does have a smell like I feel like it's like a soft rose flower smell so you know so I'm gonna start by putting it on my hand just gonna take that much right now because I don't want to use too much and I'm just gonna go in starting in the t-zone and I go in with an extra pump just because I want to make sure all my face is just getting covered with the pores and stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about, but you know what a primer does. I'm just making sure my base is bomb. So with this primer, I don't really see anything like minimizing, pore minimizing, stuff like that, or blurring my skin. It's not like the Smashbox primer. It's not like um, professional to me. But then again, I do have huge pores, so maybe on somebody else you'll notice it. But for me, I don't really see any blurring. So keep that in mind. If you really need this primer for that, I don't think it will do that. Oh, because I have large pores and when I put on foundation, it does like suck into my skin for some reason. And like, I don't know how to explain it. Like it just goes into my skin and I have like, it looks like a beauty blender just with like foundation on it. And you can just see my pores. Since I have that, I'm gonna go in with the second product from Fenty Beauty. It's the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Invisimat Blotting Powder. And I'm gonna try this um, on my skin before I do anything else because like I said, I like to go in with a translucent, a fine powder, and just put it all over on my T-zone. But this stuff is no joke. Out of all the things on this line, I really think you guys need to get this the most. There's no flashback on this thing. Like, this powder is bomb. Like, this one is bomb. Like, not even gonna lie, bomb. Now we're gonna go in with the star of the show. I'm gonna go in with the foundation. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I am in the color 390. With this foundation, I'm gonna be using my M439 brush from Morphe. This is like the deluxe buffer brush. I do think this foundation goes on better when you use a brush. This foundation does dry very fast, so you need to make sure you're working pretty fast. So I'm just gonna go in by sections. I'm gonna take, my, I'm gonna take one pump, that's it. One pump. Actually, two, a lie. So I'm just gonna go in with two pumps. I'm gonna put dots on my face. 
I do, this foundation does oxidize. Priscilla Ono did make a Snapchat on our like Insta Lost story and says it does not oxidize. She said something about like the water, something in there, I don't know, she said something, but she said it, the way it just dries down is different, but I basically think that means oxidize, but you know, it, it oxidizes. So I'm just gonna go in with blending that in. I did wanna get the foundation brush from Fenty Beauty, but then I was being cheap, and the way that my, the way my bank account is set up right now, I couldn't be making just purchases like that. Just one area. It doesn't really like cover my imperfections like that, you know. I still have some stuff peeking through, but the finish of it is very pretty. I really like this. It looks just like skin. I'm just gonna go in. This low key is kind of like a first impressions. It's not a first impressions, but it's a first impression using this foundation with like problematic skin. Does that make sense? No. It's a first impressions using this foundation with skin that is just ratchet at the moment, okay? Like. My skin's not like this. And when I first tried it, my skin was pretty clear and it did cover up a lot for me. So. More foundation yet. I'm still working on those two pumps. Everything, I'm just gonna go in with not even like another pump. I'm literally just gonna get what's like falling off right there and just go in and do like kind of like a spot conceal because I it's gonna bug me for the rest of the video with these little spots popping up and it's just not cute to me you know how beauty gurus and stuff stay like so professional doing makeup videos because I, I can't stay serious like I'm like this is the product and you know it does things and it does that I just I don't know I'm not like that I don't I, I get makeup, but I don't get makeup. I'm still learning, you know? So, for me to sit here and try to teach people, like, about makeup and stuff like that, I just don't think I'm the one. I can show you how I do it, though. Because it does pretty, it comes out pretty good, though, you know? Foundation is looking like with two pumps. I actually really love the finish. I think it looks really good. It is a soft matte. It's not super matte. It's not super dewy, and I love this because I just think it's bomb. I think this foundation looks just like your skin. It's super natural. So if you don't want to be all caked up, shoddy, like some other foundations, like the Cap on D, the Urban Decay, like all, you know, this is a good foundation for you. I love this. I could just go out the house like this, but I'm not. So we're going to go in with my matchsticks. I did get the matchstick trio. I got it in 10 300 because that's my color. Yeah, they're magnetic. Just in case one of you has not watched any of them and you're seeing mine first, they're magnetic. So yeah, I like that, that's super dope. I'm gonna get so many so I can have the full honeycomb like Priscilla Ono, cause she has all of them and yeah. These are dope, I like these. They're pretty cute, they look good on my vanity. I'm a fan. So I'm gonna go in with the first color, caramel. Caramel for highlighting under the eyes and stuff, truffle and rum, so yeah. So we're gonna go in with this one. Super cute, packaging's bomb. Just see how much product comes in this. Well, I already know because I've been watching videos. But I'm gonna show you guys how much product comes in this tube. How much it comes in there, and I think this is a lot of product. It's super thick, like thick with two C's, thick. It's super thick, it's, I think it's enough. It was only $25, and when you do use this, you don't use a lot, so this will last you a good long time. And yeah, I mess with this and this is not gonna break. I'm telling this is not gonna break. It's not like Kim's. I'm sorry Kim I'm shading you, but that was terrible going these do dry down pretty fast. So I'm not gonna I Know a lot of people did not like these because they said it was too dry for their under eye and it is a little bit dry I would go in with another concealer that was more like creamy like the NARS Creamy Concealer, the LA Girl Pro Concealer, Shape Tape, you know, stuff like that. Because this is a drying formula, you know, it's fine. I think they do the job, and I'm just gonna go in with this. I'm not even telling you guys. I'm just gonna go on with this damn Beauty Blender. This is the black one. It's the Pro Beauty Blender Pro. So that's what it's looking like. For me, personally, I do like a 
more under my eyes this is really natural which this line is like you can really tell Rihanna really wanted it to be about the face being natural looking like skin like the best skin you'll have like you she really wants you to have perfect skin so I'm just gonna go in with another one just to get some more I just feel like I need to be a little bit more covered up so this is my second one So that's what we're looking like with little two, how well I said it, like two applications, like two layers. I'm gonna go in just with a little bit on my forehead. So that's what we're looking like with just a concealer. And with the uh, contour shades, I did notice our uh, cream to powder finish. So when you're contouring, it's a little. It's a little difficult to use them. What I'm doing is getting this fan brush and then I've been getting the um, contour shade and going like directly like this and just putting on it. I got that from Melissa Ashley. So like I said, I'm just gonna go like this. I do know she used like an e.l.f. brush and um, it was a little bit smaller but I really love this brush. It's one of my favorite brushes. It's from It Cosmetics and I'm not sure of the exact name. When I do find it, I'll link it down below. So I'm just gonna go straight in with the cheek. I'm gonna turn a little bit so you guys can get that side profile, okay? So I'm just like, just gonna pull it back to my face. But like on this side, look how bad I'm look. So, I look good. Ew, I'm messing up my edges. My edges are not laid right now because I don't lay my edges first and then put foundation on because it just messy gets in my way. Now around my Here. I'm gonna go in with this brush and apply it directly to the little foundation stick. And like I said, I forgot to tell you guys, these can be used for foundation. So if you don't want to buy the foundation, you can use these because the finish would be so wrong. It would just bomb. I haven't tried it yet because this is too dark to be my foundation. But I think I'm gonna go back and get one of my skin tone because I think it would be so pretty. So I'm gonna go in and just contour my nose. So that's my nose, it low key doesn't make a difference, but to me it does. To me I feel better because the schnoz is pretty big, okay? The schnoz is pretty, she's pretty big, okay? She's a, she's a big one. So I like to make her a little bit more slim, okay? So yeah, that's all I have to do with the contour sticks. What also looks really good is when people put it in the crease, I'm just gonna put it all over my lid, why not? Why not? What? He looks the same color as my skin tone. But you know, we're trying, okay? We're trying to show you guys an everyday makeup look. And I think it looks good so far. Now I'm gonna go in with the blotting powder. Again, this is a blotting powder. It's not a setting powder, so don't try to come for on. Just using this just to go over, just to make sure, because I am an oily person. Uh, I don't want this to move throughout the day. You don't have to set this, but I'm just gonna go under my eyes with this. Like, go on and forget. Let me show you guys a swatch of the three colors. Don't comfort me. <laughs> my arms are hairy. So, yeah, that's what they're looking like. That's rum, that's truffle, and that's caramel. That's what they look like. Super cute. Rum is bomb. Like, this is not giving me a gist. I'm gonna show you guys. Just give me a second. Rum. Okay, so basically in the video, what he says to feel like a more of a dewy glow, he mixes the the shimmer stick on his hand. So I'm gonna try because I haven't tried this before, but I just think it'll be really pretty. I'm mixing it on the hand. I'm just gonna go in with a lot because I don't know how much you use. And then he says he goes in with one pump of the Pro Filter Primer to give more of a dewy glow. And I'm, okay, so ooh, that's really pretty. Okay, so then he says to go on right with the precision sponge. I only have this one right here with me and goes in like that. And he just literally went like this. That's pretty. That's pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it, but let me get my freaking inches off my face. 
so yeah I'm gonna that's really pretty it does give like a really dewy glow I like that a lot actually I'm gonna go in with that one more time and I think that'd be super pretty like on the temple right here if that's right do I say temple I don't know whatever I'm gonna go right here right above the eyebrows I feel like that'll be pretty right there because just when the light hits it, it'll be super bomb. No, like you guys, I hope you like, I was like studying this line because I wanted to make sure I got this right. I couldn't make a video and disappoint Rihanna like this. Really like that. I'm so glad I tried that because I'm going to do that. Still, I'm going to go in right here and apply a little bit more because I want a little bit more bajinga jing. I made that word up. I'm just gonna go in with my finger. Just press that in. That's so pretty. I really love this color. I was debating if I wanted rum or like cinnamon, but like this is bomb. I like this. This is right up my alley. And the, the cinnamon shade is the one that like came with my KKW contour sticks. I really do like that highlighter from her little sticks. So yeah, so right now I'm just gonna go in and put this on my lid. You know, just I'm just trying things because I haven't tried a lot of this stuff, but like why not try it for you guys on the video. So um, now we're going to go in with the main thing that everyone's been talking. This is the only first impression. Like I have not tried this yet and I'm really nervous, but yeah. Trophy wife. This is trophy wife, guys. I'm so excited to put this on, but I'm really scared because on oh, some people, my skin tone, it was looking like the Grinch, and I'm not trying to look like the Grinch. I'm really nervous right now, so, whew. This is so bomb, like, like, look how pretty that is, like, I'm going to go in with my Morphe M501 brush because this is like a really like precise highlighter and I make sure I'm really going in precisely with this, like this, with this highlighter so I'm not looking crazy, okay? So, here goes nothing. Okay. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to barely tap it, like, well there's a lot of glitter on this, okay. I think that's good. There's only a little bit on my brush. Okay. See, I'm being safe with it. I'm trying to be safe because I was looking at some of these videos and girls just like this. And I was like, like I'm not trying to look crazy like y'all. So it's so pretty, you guys. It is, it's very yellow. It's very yellow. It's very, very yellow. Um, I can already tell right now. I will not be going out the house just with this by itself. But trophy wife is really like easy to like see on somebody because I was walking down the street before and I I saw this girl and she was wearing it and I was like she's wearing trophy wife like it's so easy to like tell when somebody's wearing it. Make sure when you do this though you are hitting because a lot of, I don't know if you guys can see but a lot of does come off the brush it has a lot of glitter in it so. What trophy wife is looking like right now with just trophy wife and like of course like rum under I think it's really pretty but like I said I would not go outside just like this for every day because it's just a lot going on but I do really like it I, I really like this I think it's really pretty I feel like I don't look like the Grinch personally but go in with another highlighter just to make it um more every day. I have the highlighter Me Money Hustle Baby, but I did return it because I do have another highlighter that looks just like it to me. It's the Master Chrome 100 Molten Gold. If you guys go into Sephora and swatch it, it looks just like this to me. And the other color, the I think it was Me Money, it did come up a little too ashy on me, so I was like, I'm not gonna waste my money and keep this highlighter when only one side looks good on me. Went with my um M501 brush again, and then I'm gonna spray it with my Mario Badesco because I do like this highlighter when my brush is wet. It just looks more intense and bomb. I'm really like glowing right now. Since it does have a lot of glitter, it does show texture. So if you're putting it on somewhere that has like 
more texture on your skin or bumps it's gonna show like right now I do have a few I have a few little like heat bumps so it's showing the texture of it but it's okay it's fine but other than that it's I really like the highlighter like I think it's bomb I personally think everyone needs this and if you don't have it you're weird like I think it's bomb so right now I really do like this color combo that I'm doing with the highlighters I think it's just bringing it down a little bit so it's not as yellow greenish I think it's just I think this is a little bit better um it is a lot though it's a lot I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and kind of blend it down I'm going with my eyeliner and line the top of my lids and put like falsies on because Rihanna doesn't have like eyelashes or mascara or anything like that but since I'm showing you guys my everyday makeup routine since I probably said that like 10 million times I'm gonna show you guys I just keep looking at myself because I really like the finish of this foundation I think it's so bomb and yeah so that is pretty much everything with this collection we just have one more thing and that is Hmm, girl. This, this Fenty Gloss, gloss, it's in the color Fenty Glow. This gloss bomb is so, girl, it's bomb. It's bomb. One of my favorite color combos right now is using this and putting my Kylie Cosmetics Brown Sugar um, under the matte lipstick. When I tell you that is so bomb, so, so, so bomb. It is so bomb. Like, there, it's like my perfect, like, lipstick combination. But we're not going to do that because it's all about Fenty Beauty today. I'm just going to go straight in. So this is the Fenty, um, Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. This is only one shade because she has, like, the universal color. The duvet is super huge. It reminds me of the Shape Tape, um, concealer. I think it's so cute. Like, I feel like such a girl. And so that is the finished look. Um, as you guys can tell, I really love these products. I really, 10 out of 10, recommend you guys to get these. I think everything works so well together. Like, usually I would never go out and buy a whole entire line of anything. But I just feel like all these products work so well together and I really want to play with them some more so I can see how they work with other products. I really love these products. My fave thing out of the whole, I don't know what my number one fave is. It has it would be between like, yeah, I can't pick. I love everything. The gloss is pretty. I love the Invisimat. Like this, there's no flashback when you use this. So if you want to be cute at night, taking pictures, this is the perfect like little blotting powder for you gloss is bomb trophy wife don't even get me started like girl that's bob i'm sorry that is so bomb like i love it i love it i you really have to learn how to play with it though because i feel like a lot of people i mean a lot of people did do first impressions and they just went in like a first impression but please don't return it that fast because you really need to work with it and i just think it's so pretty and i think it'll look pretty on everyone and Look, I can't stop smiling because I feel so good. Like, I love this line. I think it's beautiful. And please, please get your hands on it. But yeah, that is all I have for today for this video. I know this was super long. So if you got to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And make sure you guys comment down below. I would love if you guys comment down below and let me know any other videos you guys want to see from me. Because I will do them. I have so much time now. I'm ready to film. I'm ready to go full force with this. And yeah, so make sure you guys subscribe and hit that reminder button so you guys can see whenever I post because I do not have like a certain post schedule. I just upload when I upload. So yeah, make sure you guys subscribe. I would love if you guys join the fam. And yeah, follow all my socials, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat. Much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Final thoughts? Fenty Beauty is amazing. Spend your coins. Everyone, spend your coins on this because it's so bomb. It deserves all your coins. Look how good I look. I mean, I have a filter on, but I look good. Spend your coins on Fenty Beauty. That's all I have to say. Don't stop, get guap. Ten white toes and them toy flip flops.
Manicures and pedicures, I'm always tip top When they say I'm not hot, all these lies need to stop Cause I'm icy, wifey, haters wanna fight me Never been the one, get RP up on a whitey Keep my hands clean, got some hitters moving shicey Ask me if I'm rolling with some Gucci, bitch, I might be a 